All right, Central Harden, we're going to talk about the posture exercise and go through our six points of posture that we were talking about this year in 2017. Noah's going to demonstrate some of these aspects for us. Uh, it should be your goal to do this um, at least once a day throughout the summer when we're not in camps. Uh, we'll look at it uh, possibly on Mondays and sectionals, but you need to do this on your own uh, every day, really, as you uh, think about posture and continue to correct and make all our posture the same. Now remember, this is not the only way to stand, but this is our way to stand. So this is going to be our central hardened way to stand, our central focus, and we want to make sure we're all doing this the same way, and it really is about consistency and doing it on a regular basis. So let's start. We're going to start at our ankles. That's our first point. And we're going to line up our body on our spot by splitting our spot with our ankles. So if his spot was back here on this little dot back here, he would line up his, put his ankles in the middle of that and kind of line things up. We're going to continue up through the knees, then to our hips, our ribs, to our shoulders, and then to our ears. And if we'll turn sideways, a lot of times one of the most common problems is our chin is down, our head is down, our neck is forward, and that last point of alignment is not there. We want to make sure that our shoulders up through our ears, go ahead and adjust that, is there. Go ahead and turn back to the camera. So our posture exercise, we're going to break down this posture from everything that, we, that you've learned from the time you started walking and build it back up to the posture that we're going to be looking at with these six points of alignment. So let's go ahead and take a look at Noah. And with the posture exercise, the first four counts, we're going to take the ears out by just lowering the chin down to the chest. We're going to drop that down. Just really let it flop down and relax those neck muscles. You're not going to force it down. Just let it fall down. The next four counts, we're going to take the shoulders back, up, forward, and then cross the wrist left over right. We're going to cross at the wrists, not at the hands. There we go. We're going to cross that over. The next four counts, we're going to bring the upper torso or the ribs out of alignment. So we're going to bring the next four counts. We'll bring the ribs down. Just let that collapse. Let that just kind of fall out. The next four counts, we're going to fall over at the wrist. Yes, and we should be in a wide second position. Thank you. To start this exercise. We're going to fall over at the waist. So we're bringing the hips and everything up the lower back over. And when you go to here, you can bend your knees a little bit. And remember to take your knees out over your toes. And then the last four counts, we're going to take all of our muscles and just relax them and go straight to the floor. And you're going to stay there for eight counts, fully relaxed. Now we've broken down the entire posture. We're going to build it back up from the very bottom. And we're going to build the first uh, three points when we come back up. We're going to build the ankle, the knee, and the hips in alignment on the next four counts. And go ahead and come up. We'll do this in four counts, in a slow four counts. Go ahead and flop over a little bit more, hanging at your, at your waist. There you go. So you'll be at this position here. Hips, knees, ankles, in alignment. The next four counts, we're going to come up through the ribs. And the shoulders will still be forward. So the shoulders aren't in there yet. Then we're going to bring the shoulders in alignment. Up, back, down, and then arms to the side. Our ears are still of alignment, so our chin is down. Then the next four will bring our head up, bringing our ears back in alignment. And we've built our posture from the bottom to the top. We're then going to take four counts, and don't fidget or anything. We're bringing our feet together in four counts. And then we're going to go and releve. We're going to lift up on our platform on the balls of our feet, putting the weight over our big toe. Don't turn out to your pinky toes. It's very important so that you stay strong and you don't roll out your, your ankles. We're going to lift up into a T. And at this time, you'll notice that the ribs lift up and we pull the weight off of the torso at this point. We're going to continue lifting up, turning our palms inward and reaching up to the sky, making your fingernails even grow up towards the sky, lifting up nice and tall. We're going to hold that for eight counts. Come back down to a T. We'll hit that on four. Continue down, and we're going to sculpt our arms at this point as we come down. We want to keep a straight arm all the way down to our fingertips. You don't want to break the wrists. Just bring that down. And the elbow doesn't really come out that far. The most important aspect is that you keep the arm in line with the body, that you don't put it behind the body. And we'll show you from the side, you'll see that better. And then you're going to lower your heels back down. And the last four counts, you'll bring your instrument up into playing position, being very aware that you're not going to throw out your body out of these six points of alignment. All right, let's watch this entire exercise from beginning. Set. Wide set. A little wider. There you go. Five, six, and five, six, seven, eight, and ears, two, three, four, shoulders, two, three, four, upper torso, two, three, four, at the waist, bend the knees slightly, 
and all the way down. And just sit here for eight counts. And one, five, six, seven. We're going to build from the bottom. Three points, ankles, knees, and hips. Upper torso, hitting the ribs, shoulders, two, three, four, and ears. Two, three, four, and then adjust our feet. And releve, two, up on the balls of the feet. One, two, lift the rib cage up as you come, continue on. And stretch up and just hold this for eight. One, two, three, four, and stretch as you're here, six, seven, eight, move that down, leave the rib cage up, don't let it drop, shape the arm, lower the body, and arms to horns up, two, three, four, and relax. You're going to want to do that exercise at least once a week, and you can do that with the count structure that we just did, it. just play the video and follow along with that as you go. We're going to do this one more time, this time from the side and with the instrument. So we're going to place the instrument on the ground in front of him. Kayla, if you'll go ahead and take that out. Same exercise, this time with the instrument in hand and just a side view so you can see what we're doing. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and all the way down, one, two, right hand on the instrument this time, and hold that, just relaxed, completely relaxed, five, six, seven, coming back up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, shoulders, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and feet together, two, three, four, and lift up on the platform, and T, two, three, four, and all the way up, one, bell goes forward here, and just hold that, one, two, three, four, and stretch a little bit, five, six, seven, coming back down, one, two, three, four, five, six, shape the arms, and lower down, one, two, three, and then horn into to, to position. Two, three, four. And let's adjust, adjust a little bit. We're gonna bring the shoulders back over the hips. There you go. We're leaning slightly just forward. You can probably see that in the video. And relax. All right, thank you, Noah.